Dear partners, dear colleagues uh, and dear friends, um, you know that uh, we launched last week, SWA lo uh, launched last week, uh, a leader's call to action on uh, water sanitation and hygiene in the context of the COVID-19 um, response. Um, we had several heads of state and heads of government joining the call, as well as Secretary General, several heads of UN agencies, CEOs um, of private companies, of uh, presidents of uh, private foundations, civil society, um, uh, as well as academic uh, institutions. Um, we have seen lots of uh, noise, good noise, regarding the call to action and we have been hearing from partners that they plan to use it uh, as an advocacy tool to further water sanitation and hygiene in the context of COVID, in the, the post-COVID uh, reco uh, recovery phase for building back better. Um, as you know, the, the call to action uh, uh, underlines the importance of leaving no one behind, the fundamental uh, uh, role that cooperation and collaboration play uh, in order to respond to the pandemic, the need for more finance, the need also for better finance, and um, at last but not least, uh, it reinforces the idea that uh, water sanitation and hygiene are the first line of defense uh, against these and other future pandemics. Even though uh, we launched the, the, um, the call to action last week, uh, we will continue uh, to uh, make uh, uh, noise uh, about it in the coming weeks and we foresee uh, several waves of communication around it. It is still open for endorsement by heads of state, by heads of government and other uh, world leaders. So we count on you to encourage your leaders or if you are yourself a leader to, um, to join the call to action uh, and to continue working with us at SWA in figuring out more ways uh, in which to transform the call to action and its messages into reality for all, always and everywhere. Thank you so much.